Now, as part of our whole house renovation refresh, I've gotten to the back room, which is the music room in my office, and it's time to give it a good clean, a good tidy. I'm gonna move some bookshelves around and make some space today. I'm gonna put my Christmas houses up. I'm always excited. I have a lot of stories behind the Christmas houses. And I'm just gonna try to transform that room into just an oasis, a space of peace. It's where I practice. It's where I wanna put my painting station. It's where I wanna have my office. It's where I edit all of my videos. And I want to kind of transform it into a beautiful space here at holiday time. You've already seen the tree that's decorating that room. And it's a new rose gold tree. I love it. And I'm really enjoying it so far in the season. But I want to make the rest of that house match that tree and have that pastel charm. And uh, especially with the pinks and the light teal and all of those pastel colors that you saw in the tree. So I'm excited to share with you our back room, which is my office and music room, and uh, how we're going to deck it out for our old-fashioned Christmas theme. As part of my whole refresh of this back room and the books and kind of looking at the shelves and really working on them, I emptied out on both sides of my bookcases one shelf for my Christmas village. And that way I could put a few more houses into it. Other years I've worked with the dining room and put them in the dining room, but this year I'm gonna put them here in the back room. I kind of like it because this is the room I edit in and I kind of see them and enjoy them. So I thought we'd um, take this just from the very basic little homes to adding all the little characters, adding the trees, and uh, we'll really take it to the next level and uh, get it ready for the holidays. So here's the close-up of our little village. We have the wax and wick shop, the petticoat tailor, an antique shop, of course a Christmas tree stall, and out front they're selling some wreaths. Always thought that was pretty. Here we are, sort of at the town square. Reminds me of downtown Holidaysburg with that clock. The bakery and then the quilt shop, and then some carolers. I might look for a couple little more green trees to fill in. Now, this village sort of puts me in mind of uh, a Dickens story or something like that. It sort of has that old world charm. When I do the other setup, it's going to be a little bit more contemporary. Oh, just a little bit. But um, it's going to feature some more buildings that have meaning to me. As part of my, just a general refresh of this back room, I've been working quite a bit on these bookshelves, giving them a good dust off. I've taken all the books down and given every single shelf a good dust. Of course, we're incorporating our Christmas village back here, but um, one of the things I wanted to do just was reorganize. Right before pandemic, I had a friend help me organize a little bit and all my books got shoveled, disheveled, and out of place. And I really appreciated her help, but I wanted all of my organized books in the, in a way I could find them. So, um, so it was important for me to kind of go through and edit. I gave away some books and I just tried to put things with uh, like things, which took a little doing, but now I know where all my books are, which is, that's a big thing. Here's the other set of bookshelves. And again, I just put like things together and did quite a bit of organizing. Again, we're featuring our little Christmas village, but I got all of these bookshelves put back in a way where I can find where the books are.
I was really pleased to get my art station put together. I had purchased an old desk and I'm using that now as my art station. It's just the perfect place to create. I do a lot of one stroke painting. And then finally we have our rose gold tree with the shell ornaments that we made. And I just love the colors. I think those shell ornaments are just making that tree come alive. And uh, so it's just so fun to be able to look at it and it's all lit up when I'm working back here. And it's just really putting me into the spirit of the season. Thank you so much for joining us for day seven of our countdown to an old fashioned Christmas. And I hope you enjoyed watching me tidy up and refresh that back room and get it really ready for the holidays so everyone can enjoy it. And it will be a peace, place of peace for me to be working and practicing in and just um, a relaxing space. <laughs>